Market continues to jump up and down with large swings in the market almost daily. Mike Reeves of Strategic Wealth Designers joining us now to share three strategies to navigate the stock market and that roller coaster. Good morning to you, Mike. Good morning, Scott. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Pretty good. All right, then. Let's go to the tips then. All right. The first one you talk about is mitigating the risk, which is a fancy word for don't risk everything. Be smart, make some money, but don't lose a ton of money. That's exactly right. You know, the biggest mistake Americans are making today with the retirement funds, they have too much of those dollars tied up in the stock market where they can fall in value. They're taking too much risk. The way you deal with that is you want to have some safety nets under your portfolio. You want to own some investments so when the stock market falls, those investments don't go down in value. And for some Americans, they need to cut their risk in half as they're getting into their golden years. And again, the way to do that are safety nets, things that don't go down in value. You don't want all your money tied up in the stock market. All right, we often hear the word bonds along with safety, but they're not always, you know, a safe 100% bet. There are some things you may want to avoid. You're right on it again there, Scott. So with bond funds, okay, bond mutual funds, they are safer than stock funds, but they're not completely safe. And the problem we have right now caused by the Fed, they have lowered interest rates to next to nothing. And the problem that you're going to have with bond funds, when interest rates finally rise, depending on the fund, you're going to lose about 8%. For every 1% interest rates do rise. And I saw this personally when I first got in the business back in 1994. You had folks that had owned these bond funds, and depending on which ones they had, they lost anywhere between 8 and 15% in something that they perceived as completely safe. Oh, that's not good. Final tip, Mike, it's about accumulation and distribution. You basically have to know where you are in terms of, I guess, your retirement, right? Definitely. So if you're young, my son Connor, he's 25, I tell him just, you know, when the market falls, just buy more for less. When you're in the distribution phase, when you're starting to take money out of your retirement funds, it is a different ball game because the key there is you do not want to sell things that are down to pay the bills. And uh, if you build the portfolio correctly, where you have some risk assets, some safe ass assets, when the stock market's down, take your distributions from the safe assets. When the stock market's up, take some profits out of the stock market. And this back and forth integrated strategy will protect your retirement nest egg, and it'll give you peace of mind during difficult times like we have today. All right, great advice as always. Mike Reeves of Strategic Wealth Designers.